Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun with the newest release of 2023 from Elijah Craig, A123. So I think we all know the story of Elijah Craig. Cash Strength Whiskey coming uh, from, obviously, Heaven Hill, one of their sub-brands. Comes out three times per year. Um, the A, the B, and the C. So the A released, obviously, in January. Um, so this one's coming in at exactly 125.6 proof. Many people, including myself, we all love Elijah Craig because, I mean, it's, it's cash strength, age 12 years, and from a price standpoint, they're always anywhere from $65, $70, you know, maybe give or, give or take a dollar or two, depending on what state you live in, taxes and so forth, but it's, for the most part, very affordable whiskey and cash strength in age 12 years. You can't really get better than that. So I'm going to do a, a fresh crack on the A123, and then I'm going to compare it to uh, C922. See, number one, is there a big difference? Number two, if they're both the same, you know, maybe which one are you, do you want to grab if one's slightly better than the other? Um, because I, there definitely are still some C922s on the shelves. I've seen them myself. All right, let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. Let me go ahead and peel this one off. So a fresh crack on A123. So I will say I just grabbed this myself in the last week. Uh, this one's coming in at exactly 125 point six proof all right let's go ahead and let this bad boy open up and breathe a little bit a little bit of uh spillage there no i have not been sipping whiskey yet <laughs> just a bad hand <laughs> oh it's too funny and i'm gonna go ahead and pour this one too so c922 came in not too far off actually 124.8 proof so not too far off from a123 all right let's pour both of these real quick and we will see which one is better or for the most part are they somewhat the same i will say i like c922 a lot i know uh this was in the top 10 list for my patrons my patrons loved c922 so i'm really hyped to see what everyone thinks about um a123 and with that go ahead drop me a comment let me know your thoughts if you found a123 what are your thoughts on uh the newest release from elijah craig also hit the like button and go ahead you might as well hit the subscribe button Help a brother out <laughs> and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right. Let's get into this nose real quick. Oh, man. The nose. Very much quintessential Elijah Craig. What many of us like. Tons of like maple syrup, caramel, some oak, some leather. This might even have in the far back a little bit of uh, some notes, which I don't always get from Elijah Craig. Almost like some notes of like some very uh, some darker fruits, like some some plum and some blackberries as well. But it's hidden in the far back. Like I'm talking about like really far back. But the nose is actually for a fresh crack and a neck pour. The nose is pretty damn on point, like legit on point. Woo! They never disappoint. Never. I mean, I know there was like a couple pairs of like, there are a few different releases that weren't everyone's favorite, but you know, all in all, pound for pound, fantastic value typically. All right, folks, here we go. Wow. Wow. That never disappoints. Coming in at exactly 125.6 proof. That had a nice and long finish. And I was definitely correct about the, um, there's definitely some notes in the far back, even the palette. Uh, definitely some notes like some, some blackberries, almost some plums as well. But it's, you still have your traditional notes of your caramel, your deep oak notes, some leather, uh, and then even like some cinnamon as well. Very nice, very well-rounded, and a nice long finish. But even at 125.6 proof, you would expect to have like a lot, I mean a ton, almost like knockout punch. It doesn't have that. It's actually extremely well-rounded. One that you would just love. Gosh, I think I would actually sip this even year round, even though it's cast strength. This is pretty damn good. And this is just the neck pour. Woo! Goodness gracious. Mm. Oh man. That's only going to get better in time. Woo! 
so I think we know what the verdict is. <laughs> Hence my lack of a poker face. The A123, it's obviously a buy. All right. Now the question is, is it equal to, is it better, or maybe not as good as C922? We shall see. All right. So I will say again, the nose, I'm sorry, not the nose, the proof on this one, 124.8. So they are definitely in the same range from a proof standpoint. Funny enough, the nose on A123, way better than C922. And I'm talking way better. It might be because it has like that distant note of, uh, at least in uh, A123, of like those, those darker fruits in there, like the plums, the uh, blackberries. That was in there. This has like your traditional nose, as we always know from uh, um, an Elijah Craig product. Tons of leather, caramel, maple syrup, and cinnamon. Very much straightforward, every day and all day. So just nosing wise, I have to give it to A123. But who really cares about the nose? We care about the palette and the finish. <laughs> hey, I just wanna say much love and respect. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you always for watching the content watching channel give me support i really do appreciate it as well as i'm gonna give a special thanks to all my fellow whiskey tubers as well we're all in this fun game together so cheers to each and every one of you also Ooh, oh that's tough to beat i don't know Woo. Mm, that's pretty good <laughs> C922 is pretty damn good. Oh, man. All right, all right. Let me get a little bit more. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to say flat out, across the board, if I see both of these, am I grabbing them both? Absolutely. Obviously, they're both buys in their own right. The slight difference between the two is... A123 has a slightly better nose. Um, C922 is more of your traditional notes. You have all that in the A123, but the A123 has a slightly additional element, <coughs> excuse me, of those darker fruits. Those darker fruits definitely stand out a little bit. I might honestly even give the edge personally to A123 because of the complete experience from the nose to the palate to the finish. But that does not mean C922 is no, no slouch at all. Both of these fantastic. You can't go wrong. Grab the first bottle you see, in my opinion. Honestly, they're both equally good. Hey, until the next time, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Take care.